right, let's get right into it here. Uh, spider over market is pretty much uh, chopped all day today. As you can see, S&P is uh, up slightly, about 0.2%. Um, NASDAQ, however, did make a move here, 1% positive. Sammy's up 2.3%. And some of these guys though were red today as you can see here looking at the s p here looks like we're continuing to kind of that trajectory to the upside here after that initial uh reset we talked about this uh shoulder resets here right these are big resets on that oscillator and then you're gonna have this uh, shoulder a uh, smaller resets and that's when the market is going to have its continuation right so basically the market the bulls make a move they need a quick uh, rest and so we see that uptrend with the higher lows and higher highs so after we've seen that quick reset here that's when we saw that retest of this island up gap reclaim the micro term we are making new all-time highs so we want to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers it looks like we do have some move here i think it, it could continue to sort of grind and lean to the upside i i think uh the important level is gonna be for for spider here uh it's gonna be this rising pivot and so um definitely this uh, this is this rising pivot is definitely the market is aware of this uh we've seen uh at least, this is a daily chart guys so we've seen at least uh you know either it's just gonna chop for a week or two weeks or we could see downturn for a couple weeks you know so it's always been sort of hacked whenever we hit that level so that's gonna be the level to be aware of and as the oscillator kind of is the price get there the oscillator is probably gonna hit that extreme overbought zone and we're probably gonna have to reconsider in that vicinity there quickly i wanted to look at semis because we have a little bit of development here because look at this semis um it looks like we're it, it, this is important area because it looks like we're trying to reclaim some of these moving you see all these moving averages uh, you know, we, we reclaimed all of those. We threw that hammer. See that right there? We saw follow through with the gap up, uh, you know, on Friday. We saw another gap up this morning. And we've closed above this pivot right here. So we got like two, three days of bullish momentum here, which is a good sign not to mention my oscillator just crossed up here so if we do see a continuation to the upside and hold above 246 or so at minimum if this gap doesn't get filled right this gap right here what is that that gap at like 243.30 or so and there's a great chance it looks like bulls want to go after this down gap semiconductor let the entire market however sadly it looks like nvidia didn't participate in it uh because a lot of these um you know semi semiconductor stocks were up a lot today as i was tweeting things out earlier today but uh especially you know semiconductor as a whole is up 2.3 percent you expect for nvidia to be up like five percent or six percent today but uh, we got you know i think because the pressure of that bearish divergence is it's bit it's just bit weightier it's just it's, it's putting putting that little bit of that weight onto this stock here so as you can see as the oscillator falls lower we're, we're not seeing any sort of signals that they want to cross remember on semiconductor sector itself smh we did witness that oscillator already has crossed up for a couple of days or so but you see that oscillator on nvidia is still falling so despite the fact that you know we're seeing semis moving up nvidia didn't participate in that because the overall we're still sort of in this downtrend ish right downtrend ish uh you know just looking at what we've witnessed in the last couple weeks here so last time we saw bear divergence here this was back in march uh we got the bear divergence here as you can see it took a little bit it was a little bit of process 
as you can see um, if you look at this oscillator even if that oscillator crosses up for a bit and you see see a two days downturn it just kind of falls right back in we needed that little bit of bullish divergence to lift this thing up you can see a uh, slight higher low there on that uh oscillator right uh this again this was back in march and april while the we definitely had a definitive uh lower low and slight high and that's what did the uh that move here so again we don't have the oscillator crossing up we don't have any bullish divergence we're still dealing with that so i think if you know is you can see how in a bullish day like today on the semis nvidia not participating in it definitely a, a very much sus there uh and let's go to microsoft here real quick microsoft uh we are just basing out or consolidating here oscillator crossed up here uh and i and i think notably the oscillator do have that higher low share so i think there's some kind of something is brewing here some sort of a pressure cooker is 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 brewing and is just pressuring and it needs to get out so i think if we do see a good breakout and make sure there's no head fakes and shenanigans which is going to be plenty a lot of times when you're dealing with the pattern like this but i think you can see that was a that's a neckline possible double bottom right on the support uh, you know one day poking above the neckline is not going to be enough we need to see just uh probably breaking out above this resistance with strength and needs to close uh above it with strength with the confident looking candle but i think you know 470 or so all-time highs it's a possibility i think microsoft has not been participating with the recent bullish run in the overall market uh maybe and you know maybe when it breaks out it's gonna do its catch-up move uh tesla very quickly here it's 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 continuing to move higher can you imagine tesla was down close to 80 percent 80 percent can you imagine we're only 13 percent away from the all-time high level so it it made a quite a bit of progress the oscillator however is acting very much uh, suspicious here because it's we're we're not seeing that oscillator looking confident at all what is going on here that oscillator looks very unsure of itself almost like we have a bearish divergence it's actually curled down state but the market and this the the in tesla's moving up we got a couple gap ups it refuses come down looks like that micro term's been holding so it's 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 what's carrying it is it's the momentum while the oscillators is not really liking it unless this thing kind of you know gets back up and really you know make a move to the upside that could be pretty bullish but i think stock like this with this kind of a sentiment on that oscillator as long as the overall market sort of has this this bullish uh, you know environment has something like tesla could make a move here but let's say in the, in the entire market entire market also we're seeing like one percent red day or you know just pretty bloody day stock like this could see a pretty big decline just keep that in mind look at smci it's uh making a move here reclaim the uh short term and the micro term right on the mid term we got these two down gaps uh oscillator is now getting near to the extreme overbought zone but it's still uh wants to get up look at that how it closed but we're getting into that zone there quickly bitcoin here uh we haven't quite got to 100 thou yet but that oscillator started curl down here uh that's uh, and definitely telling us it's showing losing its momentum however we are above micro term last time when we saw this thing start kind of pulling back a bit right above the micro term we did see another leg higher 
and you see how that oscillator sort of glided and then kept going higher so but this one looks a little bit more like a rollover but i think this is the support right here we could potentially find that support in that vicinity but if we do lose a micro tunnel i think that micro tunnel should be important for bitcoin if we lose that things could get hectic here uh things definitely could get look at this um god candle that showed up i actually just saw that uh lingo on twitter that people are calling this a god candle anyway uh anyhow we're we're getting into the overbought zone of course uh does not always mean it's 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 it's, it's gonna be uh, full blown bearish because we could pull back a bit and then it can make another leg higher but in this incident it moves sideways and tanked so this one in august moves sideways and tank this one we pull back the bit another leg higher this one with the god candle you know could we just keep going higher because it's a it's a god candle